This is Rich from Eat Sleep 360 and today we're going to be talking about basic light writing and long exposure photography using the Insta360 ONE X camera. For those of you new to this channel, this is the place to come to improve your 360 camera technique and we include lots of hints, tips and tutorial videos so please hit subscribe and click on the bell so you won't miss out on future videos. So in today's video we're going to be using an Insta360 ONE X camera and a torch and we're going to show you some basic light writing techniques. There's been a lot of interest in the light photography posts that I've put on my Instagram feed. Now they're very basic posts but I've had a lot of messages asking me how it's done so I thought I'd put together this simple video. So I'm going to show you how I produce these two photos, the techniques I used and some of the things to watch out for when you're doing light photography. So as I said, for this tutorial we're going to use the Insta360 ONE X camera and a torch. So the first thing that you obviously need is complete darkness, but in this tutorial I'm going to show you the technique that I used in the daylight, otherwise you won't see it. So turn off any ambient light, because that will affect your final exposure. So turn off any house lights, outside lights, make the area you're working in safe, clear away any obstructions, and wear dark clothing. So for any light painting or long exposure photography, you're going to have to use the camera's manual settings. You may have to experiment with the manual settings depending on what camera you're using, what type of lighting effect that you're trying to create and how much time that you need to get around the camera to, to create that effect. But here are the manual settings I use for creating this shot. So first turn your shutter to manual and it will need to be between 10 and 55 seconds. For this shot, I had a manual shutter of 55 seconds. That gives me 55 seconds to get the shot that I need. You don't always need an exposure that long, but for this particular shot, I needed that amount of time to get around the whole camera and write the three words, Eat Sleep 360. Turn down the camera to 100 ISO. Because we're shooting in the dark, we don't want the camera to be exposing for anything other than our light source. If we have an ISO that's higher than 100, this will increase the brightness of the shot, so there's a good chance that we'll expose for other things in the shot that we don't want. I usually set the white balance to an outdoor setting, which is either cloudy or sunny. Um, it depends what camera you've got. Sometimes it says outdoor, sometimes it will give you a degrees Kelvin reading of 5600, um, or have a cloud symbol or a sun symbol. With the light sources I use, the daylight setting gives the image a very crisp look. The white balance with this type of photography is very subjective and you may, want, you may choose to use tungsten or daylight either depending on what light source you're using or depending on what look that you're going for. But have a go with both and see which you prefer. I also put the camera on a three second timer because then I can get it out of the way safely so I don't tread on it, put it on a table or something um, and then get myself in position. So you may have seen this shot on my Instagram feed, so we're going to write Eat Sleep 360 around the Insta360 ONE X camera along three sides. So position yourself around one metre away from the camera with the torch already on and your hand over the torch. Move in a smooth motion and immediately turn off the torch or cover it with your hand after each letter. You can either write backwards or write forwards and flip it with Snapseed or whatever app that you want to use. Things to watch out for. Don't overlap the letters and don't let the torch hang in one place for too long because it will give you too much exposure in that one place. Keep the letters a consistent size and write in a straight line. Experiment in the daylight and make sure that the exposure time that you're going to set for yourself is enough time to get around and write all the words that you want to write. When you've finished your last letter or your last shape or whatever it is you're doing, make sure you keep the torch off or covered with your hand. If you don't do this, you'll have a stray streak of light running across your shot. Once you've experimented with a few words, then move on to some shapes. The same principles apply, so make sure that in between each shape or pattern that you do, that you cover the torch up so you don't get any stray light. And if you want the shape to look like it's extending out of the ground, like it does on the heart shapes that I did, then you have to start with the torch touching the grass. So for every shape you do, come up right from the grass, draw your shape and then cover the torch up and then move on to your next shape. As I've mentioned in some of my other videos, experiment with the height of the camera, experiment with the distance that you are to the camera and also experiment with the size of the letters and the numbers that you write and the size of the shapes and just see how you get on and what difference it all makes. 
Let me know how you get on with your light writing, your light photography, and if you have any tips you can pass on, please put them in the comments below. If you want to see some really amazing light painting photos, long exposure photos, then check out David Copeland and Rod Evans on Instagram. Their stuff is amazing. And while you're there, follow my account for daily tiny planet photos. Please click the subscribe button and hit the bell so you don't miss out on any future videos.